Hi, Murray. Hi. So, Murray, multiple biographers have recently contacted you regarding your relationship with Sam Shepard. Is there anything you want to share about how you first met Sam? Yeah, if I remember right, Ralph Cook introduced us at the church at, at uh, Theater Genesis. Who's Ralph Cook? Ralph Cook was the artistic director of uh, Genesis. And the theater was upstairs um, where the office used to be at, in the St. Mark's Church. And this was in New York? In New York City, 2nd Avenue and 10th Street. And you and Sam hit it off and became good friends? Yeah, after, after a while we became quite good friends. We admired each other's work and uh, uh, we sort of had the same or similar approaches to, to good writing and what we thought it was and where it came from and how that applied to theater and what we liked about certain acting styles and things, music and things like that. We had a lot in common. We had a lot not in common too. I mean, he was, he's a Western kid. And I was, I'm from New York, and um, that counterbalance was um, interesting for both of us, I think. So you started collaborating with him in the theater? I didn't collaborate with him. He did his thing, and I did mine, but we worked in the same space. Mm -hmm. What is one of his favorite plays that he wrote? For me, it would be uh, Barry Child, I think. I also liked uh, The Tooth of Crime which is a great title. And you guys also started a band together. Yes, we started a band with a friend called Eddie Hicks, who played the guitar. It was a three-piece band, three, three people, me and Eddie and Sam. Sam was the drummer. Oh, okay. It was called the Heavy Metal Kid. Cool. Um, what did you like most about Sam Shepard? He was fun to hang out with, you know. I, I, I enjoyed our uh, rapport, and he was a he was a very good athlete. He was good at everything he did, Sam, um, which could be also annoying. But uh, we played pool and and uh, hung out. And once we started writing a uh, screenplay together, and, uh, and we it's been lost. It was called Ring Mm-hmm. and he. I don't know whatever happened to it. But uh, we were friends for about 10 years. That's great. And then I moved to California. Oh, okay. And did Sam stay in New York? I don't know where he was at that point. I, I really just don't remember. But he was married to uh, Jessica Lyon. Actually, uh, Norbert and I ran into him in Santa Fe. We were doing the uh, Coyote Cycle in Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. We were doing parts of it there one summer, and Sam was there playing polo. He had a house there, and uh, we went to watch him play polo, and afterward we got invited to dinner. And um, so we went to the house, Norbert and I, for dinner, and no one was there. So I, I took it as, as a kind of a signal, and was pretty hurt by it at the time. But I didn't see him again for about 30 years, maybe, maybe more. So why do you think all these biographers, now that Sam has passed, are contacting you about well, your relationship with him? Well, people know that we were good friends at that time, at the beginnings of uh, Off-Off-Broadway. Okay. I think that's why they contact me. Um, who knows? And you're participating in, in, you know, basically reliving your friendship with them. I did, for, I think, but, uh, you know, it's pretty much over. We, we didn't see each other for a long time. But when I, when he died, I was very, uh, at first I, I didn't feel much. But the next day, I started remembering what our closeness was like. We, we really had quite a bit of rapport, rapport and understood each other and liked each other. It was a nice thing. So I, I wrote a, a letter to him, um, which I sent to his sister. And um, 
it was almost as though I were speaking with him. It was a very interesting experience because I was writing him things and he, I thought he was answering me and I wrote them down. So it kind of turned into a little play of itself. Yeah. That's interesting.